represented by the tassels that tangle off his robe. It's not the law that healed the woman. It's the fulfiller of the law. It's not commandments that healed the woman. It's not 10 commandments or 600 commandments. It's the fulfiller of the commandments that healed her body. And Jesus stopped and I stop here and I end by asking you. He says, who touched me? Who touched me? And I love when Jesus asks questions because I'm always like, man, you're playing with us. <laughs> like you don't know. So like, well, he, he relinquished the access to the divine attributes of God the Father. Yeah, but he could access them through prayer. He'd be like, God, show me. He said, who touched me? You know why he asked that? Because the woman needed to know something, not Jesus. And the Bible says when she finally realized she couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't hide anymore, she came trembling at his feet. I didn't know leaders could be scared. I didn't know leaders could tremble. I didn't know leaders could hide. I didn't know leaders could be sneaky. I didn't know leaders, I mean, I knew they could, but I figured God would never bless them. God would never prosper them. They would never do well. They would never be affected because you got to walk and talk a certain way. But I found a friend in Luke 8. She is me and I am her. She came down and she said, she said Jesus, I, I didn't I had no idea supposed to be here. But when I touched her close, I was healed instantly. And this is the healing ointment that God told me to pour over the top of your head, leader. Jesus says, and I want you to hear this. Oh, daughter. And I beg you to prove to me that he didn't say, oh, daughter, with a smile. He didn't say, oh, daughter. He said, he said, oh, daughter. I stopped the whole proceeding. You know, you're not even on my schedule. I'm on my way somewhere else. You weren't even in the plans. But oh, I'm so glad you interrupted my regularly scheduled program because I choose you. I anoint you. I heal you. He says, oh, daughter, your faith has made you well. But I want to remind you where you got your faith. Don't you forget where you got your faith. Jesus does these little tricky things all the time. When he says your faith healed you, what he means is the source of your faith healed you. And he is the source of your faith. You wouldn't even know a God if he didn't give you a soft heart and a receptive spirit to understand the mysteries of God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Son, are you weak? Are you tired? Are you embarrassed? Are you humiliated? I walk around Seattle. You know how many people have confronted me in front of my family? Hey, pastor. I mean, it's been terrible. And I look at my 18-year-old and my 15-year-old, and they're like, kind of like, Dad. And I'm like, sorry. I said some things they didn't like. So they stopped giving their money, and they took their ball and went home, because that's the church. I'm done. So I can't tell you about all my pain. But I have found myself going, Jesus, I, I don't know if I believe in much anything else but you and what you're doing on earth. I, I didn't know what to do, so I just, oh, son, faith has made you well. He's here, you know, the desire of all nations, the treasure of the history of humanity. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, but in the process lose his own soul? What does it profit a preacher to gain the largest mega church in the world, but in the process lose his own soul? You be careful what you wish for, leader. You be careful what you pray for, leader. You be careful what you preach about, leader. I'm telling you, he is the goal. He is the focal point. He is the center. He is the desire. He is the treasure. He is the romancer. He is the wooer. It's him. Let us return again to the feet of Jesus and let our commendations come from him. Are you weak? Are you weary? Are you burned out? Are you overwhelmed? Are you overdone? Come to me and I'll take you out. I'll show you how to take a real rest, Jesus says, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. 
I told you, tell you. That's what preachers do in my church movement. Because none of this counts because they take the water and they're backing up. So this doesn't count against my time. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? This don't, I'm not even here right now. <laughs> but God told me to tell you you're doing better than you think you are. Your shaky, sneaky, scared self at the feet of Jesus has the capacity and ability to change the world. I love you, leader. I love you, pastor. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going.